So, just give you a frame of reference. We've got a beautiful lake out here, it's gorgeous. But there's gators and snakes inside here. Now, two landings. I'm on one landing right here, and then right behind me, there's another landing, just like this one. Beautiful landing. Now, they have very minimal tent sites. I think they have like two. Now, can you guess where the tent sites are? Yes, as I walk out of the landing, there are two patio tables, one and two. This is the tent site, right here where the gator crossing is. Feeding or enticing alligators is prohibited. That, I will not be tent siding right here. Nope, not gonna happen, not me. Maybe Olivia might, this guy here, it ain't gonna happen. Just around the same page. Everybody, we are now at the sorry for all the noise. We're at the Creek Fire Motor Ranch in Savannah, Georgia. Our first time here. This campground actually is really, really cool. Let's spin you around and check it out. This is our campsite, our Alta East West. All right, it's a beautiful campground here. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Level pads. Little fire pit, a little different than where we were at last week when we were at the beach. That's right, we were at the beach. So, not bad though. Here we go. This is our site all the way around. Yes, I'm a big Ford fan. Right on. Excellent. Let's take a quick pan to the back of the car area. We're kind of close to the top here. Everything's happening basketball court, swimming pool, the whole nine yards. So, kind of cool. We like it. So once again, we're here only for about four or five days. We're gonna hang out here with everybody. Lots of big rigs around there too, that's for sure. So, all good. This place is gorgeous. Gym facilities, I mean the whole nine yards.
All right, let's continue with the tour. So, sorry, just in the little shaded area there. Here we go, pop it back up. So yeah, once again, it rained a little bit last night, over the past couple of days. It's gonna be about 72 degrees today, which is nice. I'll take off my, my sweatshirt, my DJE sweatshirt, by the way. Take that off. We'll be able to uh, enjoy the beautiful weather a little bit. So far, so good. Everything is rocking out really nicely. Good money. Let's head down to take an additional look at the rest of the park here. I have to get our vlog on. Guess next time I'll take my bike, and so I won't be so. So long with me walking and just talking to you guys. Ready yet? Let's cut to some music right now. And I'll put this in fast forward. Cabins that I see. It's like a little tiny house. Awesome. Here's the point of the park where they said that you could potentially see some gators. So, I'm not obsessed with gators. I do want to see one playing on So, let's see what I see. Got some signs here to talk about it and everything. Let me come up here to where the deck is. Where they say it, it all happens. See what we can see. See any, uh, no snakes, no gators. Maybe it's a good thing I don't see any snakes or gators. Maybe. There's a nice lake area down here too. Take a look. Get over here on the uh, Really nice patio area. Another one overlooking this beautiful lake. So they said that there's a, there's a marsh, a marsh in the back there, and the gate had to go under the gate and in. That ain't no good. That ain't no good. That ain't no good. I don't see anything yet. Let's see about you guys. I can see what I'm seeing. All right, guys, we are here in Savannah, Georgia, headed to the downtown district. Uh, pretty cool, never been here before, heard great things. Let's get it. This is that famous fountain of yours we're talking about here. So, we're golden. Gorgeous. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Can you beat it or what? Beautiful. Map today, but they left on your thing, the 10,000 mile map. Uh huh. So we can start at the fountain. Yep, let's do it. Then we can take, if we go back that way, we could take a right on East Gaston Street. Yep. And then we could take a left onto Abercorn. Okay. Abercom. I love Abercom it. Abercom Street. And then we can go up and we can see the Lafayette Square. And then we could also see St. John's, um, St. John the Baptist uh, Cathedral. I love it. Now, just to make sure you said 10,000 steps, not 10,000 miles, right? 10,000 steps. Okay, just to make sure. And then we could also go through the Colonial Park Cemetery, which is also in that same direction. We could work it backwards. Lead us. Lead us. Okay. Of our and family. there's also a mansion over here if we want to go down here first. You tell us where we're going. Let's go to the mansion first and then we'll scroll back up. I when love I it. Scroll, I go ahead, go get it. Has work. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, you gotta like shake it. No. Hold on, I'm gonna play it. I have a very talented musical family. This might not seem like it. And y'all can hear As we continue our journey, we're going to spend some time here in downtown Savannah in the historic district. As you can see, Spanish moss trees fill the air. And honestly, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. We reside in Connecticut and Spanish moss trees, yeah, they don't exist here. You are currently looking at the memorial here in Forsyth Park for the Confederate soldiers. Leading the pack with the Armistead clan, downtown Savannah. Very cool place, that's for sure. We're here, it was raining last night, and uh, I don't know, still trying to figure out our way around the place. My wife said something like 22 different squares of beautifulness. We'll see. Callahan Square is up next. This square was named after John C. Callahan, a United States Senator from South Carolina, who served as the Vice President under John Quincy Adams and Andrew Jackson. My daughter Olivia, being the Girl Scout she is, we couldn't miss the opportunity to see the birthplace of the founder of the Girl Scouts, Juliet Gordon Lowe. She was a publisher of the Girl's Guides, which ultimately established the Girl Scouts. She was a Georgia native, and was committed to the empowerment of women. During the time that we were here, the house was under construction, so we were not allowed to go inside, knowing that we did come here in early 2020. Lafayette Square is up next, which is the home of the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. This Cathedral of St. John the Baptist is the highest twin steeples of all of downtown and was designed by architect Francis Baldwin. The square was laid out in 1873 and was named in honor of Marquise de Lafayette, a French general under George Washington during the Civil War. As you come around this corner now, you're going to see this church is absolutely gorgeous. If you are interested in finding this church, this church resides on the northeast corner of the square at East Harris and Abercorn Street. I wish all you viewers could be here now to see this beautiful church in its glory. The camera does not do this justice. Being the former history teacher that I was, this video could be hours and hours long but let's keep it moving with just one more square, Johnson Square. You're currently looking at the Nathaniel Green Monument, which stands in the center of the square, along with the beautiful sundial as you just saw. This monument was for General Nathaniel Green from his efforts in the Revolutionary War. Just around the same page. It is a tad bit cold today. 
in Savannah, so we seven something degrees tomorrow. Looking forward to that, which is absolutely insane in the brain, but it's all good. All right, let's go ahead and put this video in fast forward, showing you the downtown shopping district, the city market, and then eventually coming up to the waterfront. Absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't been to Savannah yet, yeah, this is a must do. All right, guys, we're heading over to the River Street Market. It was closed last time we got here. We're going to check it out now, see what it's all about. All right, all right. One more monument, I promise. Florence Martis, the famous waving girl of Savannah, has a monument dedicated to her. You can find her statue on the East End River Street. While not many people see it, it's a little bit out of the way, but it's well worth the walk to check it out. This road, we always travel. We always travel the right road. How like you said, who says we're going the wrong direction? We're just being together. That's all we're doing. <laughs> That's it. We're going to figure it all out. I want to know who Bird is. She's got a lot of famous cookie places around here. No, no, no. You want to go in there? No, 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 no. I don't want to go in there. That's what, that's what I'm trying. That's, that's why I'm staying away. All these free samples. Now, as the camera pans towards the alleyway, some of you guys might think it's just an alleyway. And I think great opportunity for a quick photo shoot. And once again, who needs a drone when you have a dad? And dad can simulate everything and do it all. <laughs> and as you can see, my daughter in the background never misses an opportunity to video bomb the camera and dance a little bit. I wonder where she gets that from. All right, maybe I spoke too soon. This might be the last monument that I talk about. This monument is called the Cracked Earth. The two halves of the globe are split, representing the conflict of a world divided. This monument is lit at night and inside are the names of the people who served from Chatham County. This monument is located just at the center of River Street on the west side. Absolutely gorgeous, breathtaking. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Savannah, you will be truly missed, and we can't wait to see you again. And as always, thank you for watching. And remember, it's all about the memories. So go ahead and chase your escape. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. <laughs>